Yeah, hello, you guys. Welcome back to the Gold Rush. And welcome to the final results for the game. We win 24-16. We are 5-2 now. We're sitting in first place of the three game. Winning streak got my scarf on. I'm going to take it off now. Got my scarf on. Got my gear on. We beat the Baltimore Ravens 24-16. Phenomenal game. I'm run down everything I got here. But if you guys are baseball fans, the Astros win. Which to me, I feel like that's going to give uh, Los Angeles Dodgers an easier way to win the World Series, to be honest. Chicago won, so Chicago wins, let's see, Green Bay, down by basically like a touchdown, touchdown a couple points, let's see, because Case Keenum had a good game, we played a good game, our running back game, man, Latavius Murray had a phenomenal game, phenomenal game, y'all, like, this, this is just probably a really good game, a lot of people saying, uh, like, the Vikings are winning, but they're not exciting games. To me, we're slowly progressing as we win. We're making them more exciting. You know, we're slowly progressing to uh, exciting games. Does that make sense? Does that make any sense? I don't know if that makes any sense. Sorry to upload uh, my predictions video. Um, uh, I went to a college football game yesterday. Um, I didn't really up. I was in. I shot the video yesterday. Cause I didn't shoot it Thursday or Friday. Cause busy with other stuff. Yes, and you got damn lazy all this. You know, I just lack of. Uploading, but um, because I know I do like UCLA football, right? But since I do love San Diego, I do love San Diego State. They are a good, they are a good sports program team here. So I do follow them as well. But my first team is UCLA, and we did beat Oregon yesterday. What a great game against Oregon yesterday! That jump flip, oh my God, that was awesome. Which was at the game. But um, I went to San Diego State's football game versus um, versus the Fresno State Bulldogs. And it was their, and it was, uh, what's it called, homecoming week, so they had a homecoming game, and they lost to Fresno State, and there's a lot of Fresno State fans just being so annoying. But Joe Flacco got one touch, and that was the end of the game, but we're not talking about them, are we? We're talking about us, uh, and everybody said Anthony Barr's hurt, Jim McKinnon's hurt, Daquan Treadwell was hurt, they weren't hurt, they were playing. Vikings, they don't want Raven talk. Case Keenum had threw one and there's no touch, so they went 188 yards, 20 for 31. Latavius Murray with the touchdown, that was beautiful. McKinnon looked awesome, 47 yards. Latavius Murray got 113 yards, we already know who's going to play more, I think. Jared Wright was on fire, dude. Jared Wright got 54 yards, three recorded, so, but. Points of yards for Kyle Rudolph, five recorded, you know, five recorded for um, Adam Thielen, 41 yards. Quantrill, three recorded, 20 yards. CJ Ham, one. Jeremy McKinnon, three. Everson Griffin, I think Eric, Eric Kendricks, Everson Griffin were probably one of the best. He got 10 out of four. 10 tackles out of four assists. Anthony Barr got six tackles out of four assists. And Everson Griffin got five tackles out of, out of one assist. Andrew, Andrew, Andrew Sadejo got four tackles out of two assists. We're just on fire today, dude. Shrills, I think he got hurt, so he wasn't playing the rest of the game. Um, Kyle Forbass went six for six. He, his longest was 52 yards. And Ryan Quagley went 90 yards. But at the beginning of the game, it was more like a field goal battle, back to back. It was three nothing Ravens, and then three three Vikings Ravens, and six three Vikings Ravens, and then six six Ravens Vikings. Man. And then it was like nine, nine, six, one of that, and then we got, and then we got another field and we scored touchdowns and it was back and forth, just like a field goal fast. But then we came back and we scored and we scored and I'm just so happy and proud about my team how we won this game and we're now still the first place three game winning streak. So we go to London playing the Bear Browns. If we can beat the Browns in London, I'll be happy with that it'll be a four game winning streak at six two and we are hosting the Super Bowl this year at US Bank Stadium fifty two. So if we can host our own Super Bowl and be at our own Super Bowl and play our own Super Bowl, that would be it lit as AF. But overall great, phenomenal victory by our team. Any of our Vikings fans you guys know that was a great victory. Um FYI I do live on the West Coast so the game in London starts at six thirty in my time so I'm thinking it'll be up at six thirty in the morning. I usually get my rest. If anything I might get up at seven. Maybe seven thirty to catch a little bit of it. if not if you guys see a highlight video it won't be like a complete view 
how to do the game is read off what's what's here. You know, what's on my phone. But I probably won't watch it. Unless I was on the East Coast, yeah, I'd be up and watching because it's 9.30. But if it was if it was West Coast, no. If it was Mountain Time, not either. Because Mountain Time would be 7.30. Eastern Time would be 9.30 and Central would be 8.30. Maybe if I live in Central Time, maybe I'll be up. But, but no. I probably won't be up. But maybe you guys live in Eastern or Central or Maine Mountain. I don't even live in the West Coast. If you guys are up, then good for you. But I, I need anything to sleep on the weekends, you know. But anyways, thank y'all for watching. We, we just this phenomenal game from beginning to end. Smash Mouth football, but field goal fest from the beginning. It's like basically almost, I guess almost halftime, but not really halftime. I mean, like then in the first quarter, a couple minutes of the second quarter. But then we just started scoring. You know, we came back, boom, bam, bam. We we lit up those Ravens. The Ravens are what three and four now. And then they kick off week eight to play the Dolphins. Dolphins looking pretty good against the Jets. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. We had a great performance. Thank you guys for watching. This was a good game. Come back with 5-2. and two. Um, The Packers are still playing. I'll tell you guys, as much as I hate the Packers in my division, Brett Hundley is going to be a good quarterback. So, so the Lions might catch up. The Lions might not. But it's going to be Packers and Vikings from here on out. And maybe Lions sliding their way in. But it'll be Packers Vikings from basically from here on out. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, I can't wait. Which is which is gonna be over and he's gonna make a Super Bowl and we can play our own Super Bowl and win our own Super Bowl at our own stadium. That'd be so awesome. We can be at our own Super Bowl, play at our own Super Bowl and win it at our own stadium or hosting it, that would be freaking lit as AF. But anyways, that was an awesome victory. Thank you guys for watching, I'll catch you all later. Peace, love. Like I always say, keep calm and score by kids. We got the Browns next Sunday in the morning. 6.30 my time, 7.30 Mountain, 8.30 Central, and 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. Peace.